Welcome back to another episode of this fucking screw. So, what I did to get this off, there was just a little tiny head on there. I took my Craftsman screw chisel and uh, bust the rest off of, off of there. It didn't snap like the piece, you know, that did snap off. I had to fold it and bend it until it cracked. And then, even then, it was hard to get this bit off. So that was bent up a little bit. So I had to take that, put it on the floor, pound it flat with my uh, ball peen hammer. Uh, there's the stem of the screw, it's still in there. For some reason there was like sand and stuff in there. I don't know why there was sand in there. This is what it's supposed to look like. Right there. That's what it's supposed to look like. And that is what it's not supposed to look like. You can see I even cut through a little bit with my Dremel tool and hit that little piece. So, I'm going to have to drill that out on the other side, make it look like this one. I'll probably have to drill this one out too and buy two fasteners instead of just one to make it right so that they match um, to use this piece again. I might, while I'm at this point, uh, just figure out a way to live with it um, and just upgrade the whole top. But for now, all I need to do is cut the siding pieces. Um, so, we'll figure that out. So while I'm at it, I'll show you guys how to change out your saw blade. So what you're going to do is take this bit off, because this is how you're supposed to do it. Raise it all the way up, and then you have two wrenches. This one is very nice. Um, another cool feature I like down here, there's a little spot for you to store it with a little uh, locking handle to tighten that on there for your spare blades. Um, I did put that one over there just because that's where I took it out of the package. But I could keep it underneath. Um, in that one spot. <clears throat> and these tools, this little hole in there so you can keep your tools with your blades. So you have the one wrench that goes on this side that locks in place. They even give you a nice little slot to slide your wrench into so you can use both hands on this side to loosen the nut there. And it's uh, counter threaded the opposite direction, uh, reverse threaded the opposite direction. So that's how you loosen that. So I'm going to change this blade, uh, while I have it off here, I'm going to take the opportunity to clean out uh, the inside here, any bigger bits that went down that my vacuum system that I designed couldn't get to. Um, so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to put the next blade on, and then I'm going, sh I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to live with this. While I'm doing that, I'm going to think of a way to do that. I figured out how to fix it. Once you get your blade installed, slap this bad boy right back down. Clean up your surface, get all your WD-40 off from changing out your blade. Rub a little denatured alcohol on there to get up the oil. Slap a good old piece of duct tape on there. That's how you make things better. That's the American way right there. Fixing Japanese mistakes. Probably Chinese mistakes. I don't know where the hell this is made. Piece of junk. So, make sure you get your blade oriented the correct way. Otherwise, when you go to cut on it, it's not going to cut. It'll just sling your piece of wood away from you. No, it won't. It won't sling it away from you. It just It's not going to cut. It's just going to be a fancy party clacker. That's it. So what would a good hillbilly channel be without a good duct tape fix? This is how I'm going to live with it. Why is this okay? Because I'm going to be making my cuts on this side. Sending the piece through here. And not this side. Even though this would probably work. Eventually this might start to peel up. It's fucking duct tape. I'll just put another piece on there until I figure out how to do this the right way. Um, I probably won't even bother with these screws. Probably won't even bother fixing them. Once I'm done using this, which is never, I'm always using this, so that's how big of a setback this is. Um, I'll probably get a piece of like uh, MDF wood, put it on the top, make a nice flat actual table saw surface. Uh, put in my own custom sleds, my own custom fence that's a little truer than this one. This one was pretty true when that piece was on there. It was nice and straight. Um, didn't really have to worry about it, and that piece broke off, and now it sucks. I have to square it up and square it up again, um, and then when you clamp it down, it tries to not go straight. So I can build myself a much better fence that will actually work instead of this one. Um, this this guy here is useless. It's so floppy and gross. So I'll, I'll fix that and make that better too. So that concludes this episode of this fucking screw. It's out. Most of it at least. 
and I have a temporary fix that's going to work for now so I can keep building my daughter's Dell house. So, hope you guys learned something from this. You know, definitely don't rule out duct tape. It does work. It's not a joke. I mean, kind of is. Alright, it's a joke. But I'm going to leave that on there. I'm actually going to use that. That's serious. Um, I tried it out. It doesn't really wiggle out, out of place. I'm not concerned about it. It's not going to hit the blade, so we're good. The other screw's in there nice and tight. As long as that one doesn't come out, this isn't going to move back and forth and hit the blade. So I'll, I'll be fine. So I hope you guys, you can rest easy tonight. I will be a-okay until I fix this the right way. Uh, so that's it for this one. Hope you guys learned something. Have an outstanding day. I love you guys. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm out.